<laughs> Brother and sister are helping wake the baby. <laughs> Hi, Billy. Billy. <laughs> Elliot's having a hard time waking up this morning. <laughs> so, Callum and Linnea are helping. Yeah, we have to wake up. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Mama, there's a bottle on the roof of that car. What? Oh, it is. <laughs> Good, good, yeah. I can't believe you saw that. Yeah. So, I don't know if you guys can see that. There's a bottle. And we are right in front of tracks. There's a bottle. And we are right in front of tracks. Yeah, we are in front of tracks. It's Where are we going today? To Oma. To Oma's house. Where does Oma live? In Stuttgart. Stuttgart. So we're going to and Oma's I'm house. In yeah. In the what? What? Um, um, our first we we were first, um, in Stuttgart that we moved to London, now, now we're in Berlin. That's right. What did mommy pack for you guys? You want to show your bag, Linnea? I packed the kids surprise bags. Um, open. And Linnea's got, they each have like a little, they each have a little small toy. Like Linnea's got a little Playmobil. Thing. And Callum, what do you have in yours? Callum's actually working on his now. He's building it. My train. Yeah. I got a lot of stuff. I got stickers. Stickers. Stickers and what else? Oh, stickers. And you, they have a little letter tracer thing. And they've got paper and coloring books. Not in there, but in their suitcases. And then they've got markers in that little bag. Yeah. Oop. And Linnea's got a little a little doctor and boy with broken leg. <laughs> How cute. cute. Little doctor. Little doctor and little boy with crutches. A little doctor box. Here you go. That's box. Yep. Can I open it? You can play with it, yeah. Okay. It's yours, girl. Um, can, can, can we not open the doctor box? Yeah, you can open everything. We can open can I everything. see this really quick? Yeah. Um, we're on our vacation. Yeah, so each of the kids have different stickers. They each have um, like an assortment of markers, a bunch of markers, Where's little letter phone? thing. Okay. There's nothing in it. They each, it's empty? Yeah. Huh. Um, they each have like a little car to okay. roll around and play with okay. in the car. Markers, loads of markers. I you know. And I do this, I figured this would be fun. Doing something that they've never seen before, having a little bag to open, little things inside, that always makes the trip fun. I figured it would be fun for them just to have something to do other than just watch iPad. So, um, which we do, we allow iPad in the car. been a good drive we actually the drive the kids have been great and the drive has been good Elliot has done pretty well this trip he really only just needed to stop to nurse but he's been okay um, he cried for like five minutes you know and he was hungry um, we'll be there soon and everyone will be able to get out and just kind of stretch their legs and we'll be at Oma's 
girl. There's my girl. Then walk away. <laughs> and there's my sweet boy. And my other sweet boy, he's just taking a little rest. There's my, there's the papa bear. He's done, he's tired of driving. Right, you doing okay? What? You okay? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we just got here and Oma put the kids to work. <laughs> <laughs> She's got Callum breaking leaves. <laughs> He's doing a good job. Look at that sweet girl. She's making faces at her brother, who is super grouchy. This is so funny. <laughs> we're here and the Legos and the Legos as you can see are out we're taking it very easy today partly because well we just got here and it was a six hour drive um, the other part is that with COVID on the rise Stuttgart is now also a hot spot we're just kind of laying low and picking and choosing when we leave basically to try to keep everyone safe Elliot seems to be really fussy. He slept most of the car ride and he's very grouchy and just, um, I think he also feels a bit feverish, which could be teething. Um, it seems very unlikely that it's COVID considering nobody else, like, and there are four other people in our family. No one else has any sort of symptoms. So it would seem odd that the most protected one of all of us is, uh, is the one that's sick. <gasps> Whoa! Thank you, Oma. Thank you, Oma. Mommy. Oh! But yeah, it seems very unlikely that he would be sick, but the rest of us are symptom free. That doesn't seem likely. Maybe it's an ear infection. I don't know. So, probably what we'll do is give him a nice bath and put him to bed early and just see how it goes tomorrow. And if he needs to go to a doctor then we'll have to go to a doctor. Good morning. Do you want to tell everyone about our night last night? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this little guy, yeah. Okay, do you want to go play? You can go play. There you go. <sighs> so last night when we took his temperature, it was 39.9. That's like 103.8 Fahrenheit. We gave him medication. I didn't want to like rush him to the doctor because it didn't seem like, I mean, he wasn't dehydrated. He wasn't lethargic. He had enough energy to like fuss. <laughs> um, we're here in Stuttgart, so I was able to kind of, um, talk about things with my mother-in-law as well and get her opinion. She also, I mean, she had two kids of her own, so I assume she knows a thing or two about fevers. And given her job and what she does for a living, she also, you know, she knows a lot of stuff. It wasn't like high enough or long enough to really do much other than give him medication and see if that helps bring it down. So I gave him a fever zoft, like fever medicine to help bring his fever down and it did. It was so hard to get him to sleep and he, he didn't go to sleep. So I spent the whole night, I spent all night, not I'm not even exaggerating, I spent all night walking around with him, holding him, rocking him, bouncing him, just like hoping and praying that his fever would come down and that he would be able to get some sleep and be able to rest, he was so uncomfortable. And um, I just held him and I walked around and I sang to him. It's like the only way that he would calm down if he, if, is if I just held him really close to my chest and just sang to him. So we did that um, all night and then took his temperature this morning and it was, it was already down three degrees Fahrenheit, almost four. 
I'm relieved. I have not given him medication yet. I want his immune system, I want his body to kind of fight off as much of it on its own that it can. Um, that helps his immune system strengthen. So I'm I'm letting that happen right now, but I am I am continuing to check it. And if it starts getting up again, then you know we will continue with the medication. Um, but I mean, you can hear him. He's in a much better mood this morning than he was yesterday. I yesterday was horrible. It was so bad. <laughs> but he's talking and happy. There's a mattress here, and so he's he's gone up and down this a little bit. So rather than just falling, he's getting more careful. Yeah, just like that. Good boy. Good boy. So he's, you know, figuring out how to go up and down. This is kind of like a step, isn't it? Yeah. I'm, I, I'm nervous. Woo. <laughs> this is a little bib that I packed that's out of his suitcase now. There we go. Yeah, he's, he's doing much better today. Schwer zu sehen. Yeah. Linnea, ich sehe gar nichts mehr. <laughs> Linnea, can we take off the witch hat for just a second? Yeah. So. <laughs> and then? Hey. Linnea is making a mouse out of a walnut. So. And yes, machst du hier wieder noch und hier ist es hier. Yeah. 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 Yeah.